Blossom gang, it's Chantel aka Shani Blossom and I'm back with another video and this time I actually have my wonderful husband with me. Um, I asked him if he would do this video with me because I told y'all in a prior video that I was going to do a video about how it is being married since we've gotten married. Um, and so um, I asked him and he said he would do it. So you want to say anything else? You want to introduce yourself? Hello Blossom Gang, I'm Damian Dupee, Chantel's beloved husband. Um, so good to see all you guys. Uh, hopefully uh, we will share some uh, insight and just some tips and tricks that we have learned along the way of our uh, newly marriage. Yes. Um, if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, like this video, comment in the comment section below if anything that we say resonates with you, or if you have some advice for us, give us some advice. We'll take it. Um, and then also, um, be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Also, my baby does have a YouTube channel, so I will probably link a video of his in the description box um, and tell him your YouTube channel name. My YouTube channel is We Are Land Specialists. Uh, basically, I have a community of uh, like-minded uh, real estate wholesalers that hyper-focus on wholesaling. Uh, vacant land to investors in Charlotte, North Carolina, and all through the Carolinas. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out my baby's YouTube channel. He's growing drastically. He's doing a great job. I'm so proud to be his wife. I'm so proud of his growth. So today, like my baby said, <laughs> we decided that we're going to um, tell y'all some of the things that we've learned since being married. I want to go ahead and put a disclaimer out there. We're not no therapists. We don't know all there is to know about marriage. We're learning a lot. Um, but the things that we have been learning has been like very monumental towards our growth as a couple. And so we just wanted to share it. So I want to put that disclaimer out there. So um, my baby was, is going to just come out with stuff off of his dome. I wrote some of my stuff down. Please also excuse the noise that is thunder and lightning, okay? It's been storming for the past few days. So I'll start off and I'll probably just go tit for tat. And he might have a lot, um, so we'll just go from here. So the first thing that I have learned since being married is that it is not the same as being like a boyfriend and a girlfriend or a fiance. Um, in our situation, we didn't live together before we got married. And so um, I actually moved into his house. And so that was a major adjustment for me. And then I think like when you move from like being like a boyfriend, girlfriend or fiance to a husband, wife, like you start noticing things that your husband or your wife does that you probably didn't notice if y'all didn't live together before. So I'm not saying anything was bad because my husband is very clean, like a very clean guy. So I upgraded. <laughs> in a sense I upgraded in a sense but it made me have to step my game up and I'm still stepping my game I'm still learning I'm still learning my baby can tell you I'm still learning a lot of things about being a wife but um it's not the same some people say it is the same but we didn't live together so it was definitely like an adjustment I won't say it was a bad adjustment I'll just say that it's different it's different you know so what was something that you learned Oh, one of the things I learned is you have to be very cautious of what you say out of your mouth, okay? Um, I have, uh, my whole life I've been a comedian, a jokester, always trying to crack a joke. A lot of times I don't mean any harm, but my wife is precious, she's delicate, and I have to um, uh, respond to her as such, opposed to me just cracking jokes thinking, you know, he, 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 and um, she's not laughing. So be very cautious of what you say out of your mouth um, because it can offend um, the other spouse, if you will. Okay, that was good. All right, so another thing that I learned is that marriage takes work. Um, and we actually recently just started counseling um, to help our marriage like just flourish even more than what it has been and um, like 
the people that have been counseling to us are near and dear to our hearts and they just said that marriage is actually like its own separate person and so you have to kind of like raise your marriage up like you have to grow your marriage and I think you know with me I can only speak for myself um, but when I was growing up I thought marriage was just like this thing and I was like oh it's a fairy tale and all this other type of stuff and you don't gotta do that much and I'm learning that no like you actually have to work your marriage or it will work you <laughs> <laughs> so I'm learning that and it's been a beautiful process because I'll hit on this a little bit later but I have a wonderful partner. I feel like I have a great husband. And so the journey has been eye-opening for myself, but um, it's also been beautiful because I get to work it out with him. So what's another thing that you learned? I learned that merge uh, allows you to mature at uh, <laughs> such a high level. Um, and uh, I'll just give you one example of uh, what that looks like is um, I'm used to having stuff in a certain place and a certain you know kind of you know atmosphere and uh, my wife uh, she tends to you know don't worry about stuff being at certain places and I've matured to the place where it's like you know what my wife does not mean any harm Mm -hmm. uh, she's not coming for me or whatever and uh, it's gonna be all right okay and so I've so not only have I learned to just not like be petty um, you know because at first I will be honest I used to be like like a like a referee blowing the whistle like <laughs> hey you left this over here hey hey you know I was literally like going in you know I was like blowing the whistle like Hey man, what's going on with this? What's going on? And now I've learned that, you know what, it, it's gonna be all right. Like, mm -hmm. and it's allowed me to mature and basically be kind and basically not sweat the small stuff. That's basically what it's all about. You know, um, when you get married, you become one with that person. So it's no longer like what I want, what I need. It's like us, we, you know, we're a team, okay? So I have to keep that in mind in, in maturing that, hey, we're on the same team. She has my best interest in heart. Mm -hmm. She has my back. She's going to look out for my cookout. Mm -hmm. So that's my number two. I want to kind of piggyback off of my husband and just add a little, my little two cents on what he said. It's so true because I had kind of like a little difficult time when we first got married because if I had been like for myself like single doing things for me like if I want to leave a place I'm gone I ain't got to worry about checking in <laughs> with somebody or if I was mad about something I could just go home like I didn't have to stay around and now that I'm married like I had to learn how to adjust to being a wife and not just doing stuff just because I didn't feel like doing it or not just doing stuff because I felt like doing it like I now have another person that I have to to look out for in their feelings and how they feel about something and it's not just about myself anymore and so if I could be transparent about something I'll just be transparent in this and saying that I had to learn that hey I'm a wife now like I can't just say what I'm not gonna do and what where I'm not going and what I will do and what I won't do like I, I just can't do that anymore and so I had to pray and repent to the Lord a few times I'm not gonna sit up here and lie but um I at the end of the day it's been a beautiful process and I love this man and that's that on that so I'm gonna go ahead and go with my next um, little thing that I've learned is that um, I think it's good in a marriage or is it I've been learning to look back over the sentimental times or the the precious times that y'all had together because you can have like a little disagreement and those things are going to pop up because you're two separate people you know coming together as one and so what I like to do a lot of the time is I like to think back on like when we first started dating I like to think back on those sweet times and even the sweet times that we've had in our marriage like some of the things my husband has done for me and I'll just feel like oh and um 
you know I like to think on those things too because sometimes you could go through like a small little disagreement it doesn't even have to be big and it can blow up 10 million times over and it didn't even have to get to that point so I say always think back to your why like why did you marry this person why did you decide to walk down the aisle with this person and when you think about that you'd be like I can't even be mad no more like and that's usually nine times out of ten what happens with me and him and so I say think on the sentimental times and also continue to date each other and continue to love on each other yeah for me uh, number three would be is don't dwell on the past um, it's so easy to uh, point out someone imperfections uh, insecurities weaknesses and it's like things that you have discussed like discuss it compromise come up with a win-win for both parties and keep it moving keep it moving you know don't don't be like well you said this you said that because it'll affect your attitude it's going to affect your peace and last but not least it's going to affect your intimacy with your wife and i'm not talking about having sex okay mm -hmm. um so i've learned don't dwell on the past bro let it go like frozen you understand uh, let it go let it go um uh, yeah so that's uh my number three it's kind of short and sweet but uh that has been a <laughs> Uh, a good one for me um, personally. Oh, that was good. That's good for me too. I gotta learn it too. So, yep. Oh, so my next one is that in a marriage, the things that I've learned, one other thing that I've learned is that you have to practice forgiveness. Mm. You have to forgive your partner. Like, I had gotten in like we had like some small disagreements right and I found myself like holding on to stuff and I had to repent because the Lord the Holy Spirit was checking me like sis no you need to repent you need to go tell your husband that you're sorry and you need to repent to me and I had to do it and it's because like you can get easily offended by stuff and I found that I was getting easily offended by stuff not my baby but me and so it's just like some stuff like that people tell you if they're telling you out of love you shouldn't find offense in it and if you are you need to work on something and at the end of end of it all forgive your partner because y'all are on the same team the enemy wants you to think that y'all are on opposite teams and that's another thing i had to learn is that i don't have to win an argument i don't have to win a disagreement no we can have a healthy disagreement and still come together at the end of the day and be fine and that has happened for us we've had a disagreement and come together and been fine but then there's been other times where i allow my offense to be greater than trying to you know practice actual forgiveness with my partner and that's wrong and so one thing i can say is that forgive 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 <laughs> the other person is going to do stuff that might get on your nerve you might get on your partner's nerve too so don't just always be putting the the shoe on the other person's foot put your own shoe on too you get on your partner's nerve too <laughs> so just understand that y'all are on the same team and we keep on hearing this from a lot of different people is that don't let the sun go down in your wrath so talk about it get together and then start kissing and then y'all gonna be fine <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> all right boo, what you got uh for me uh this would be don't put your expectations and your priorities mm -hmm. on your spouse, okay? That's a good one. We are built different. We are mm -hmm. different ages. We are different genders. We come from different backgrounds. We have mm -hmm. different education. My wife is highly educated in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't, I, I just got a GED. You know what I'm saying? Smart, Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you know, I could put my expectations and my priorities on my wife. I'll give mm -hmm. you just an example of I like working out, you know, mm -hmm. and I, my, my expectation and my priority is like, woman, you need to be working out too, you know, and you know, you know, I can't put that on her. I can't come for her. You know, she'll work out when she want to work out. She'll get it. And I've learned lead by example. You know, you know, the expectations and the priority. If you lead by example, you my wife will begin to ask like, oh babe, you wanna go walking? 
oh babe, I'm about to start working out, woo woo woo. Instead of like putting pressure on her, like chasing her down with a hammer, like, hey, 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 man, you ain't working out, you ain't, you ain't meal prepping, you ain't doing it, you know, all this, but you ain't doing it, you know. That's, that's my conviction. That's my expectations. That's my priorities, you know. I can't shift all that on my wife. You know, that that's what we call unrealistic expectations. It's unrealistic, okay? You know, I work out, Lord's willing, I try to work out two to three times a week, sometimes three to four. You know, I can't put that on my wife. Oh, you, you, ain't, you ain't working out. You ain't doing nothing. You just sitting in here. Nah, you can't do that, man. You got to keep it 100 done. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to stay in your lane. You know, and lead by example. Yeah. Don't be trying to come for them, talking about what they ain't doing, because they not, that's going to actually push them away farther. They're going to be like, I definitely ain't working out with you, because one, you just keep pressing me out. Mm -hmm. Two, you getting on my dang nerves. <laughs> and three, you better get out my dang face. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one, too. So, my next um, thing that I've learned since being married is that you got to give a lot of grace. Oh, man. Grace for everybody. Yay! Okay, you got to give grace. It kind of goes along with forgiveness. All right. Sorry, y'all. The video kind of cut off a little bit, but what I was saying that you got to give grace. If you don't give like your partner grace, then don't expect to get grace back. I'm not saying that that's right, but I'm just saying like, don't not give out something that you want in return. When I first got married, I knew that it was going to take grace. I knew that. It, because it was the grace of God that, you know, helped change my life, helped change my husband's life. So you have to do the same thing for your partner. Like it kind of goes back to forgiveness. They're not always gonna do everything that you want them to do. They might not say everything you want them to say. But at the end of the day, y'all partner together. So why not give each other grace so that y'all can continue on y'all journey and go further in life. So that's my next one and that's really important too. So what you guys say? Okay. Uh, my next one is uh, you have to take full responsibility for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot like be pointing the finger at someone else because you're not having a good day or I'm not feeling well. You know, cause I know like sometimes if I'm hangry or like something, I'll be like, I'll be acting like weird. And I'm like, I gotta take full responsibility for that. And when I mean take full responsibility, I mean like do everything in your power to mature in that area of your life. Do everything in your power to not continue to bring that negative energy into the relationship. Do everything in your power to basically speak life and be positive in all aspects of your relationship, even when it doesn't look good, feel good, smell good, or taste good. Now, it better smell and taste good, but <laughs> that was, yeah, that was, um, uh, yeah, so yeah, you gotta, I gotta take full responsibility for me and I gotta always be pushing a pendulum for self-development to grow and to mature. Always, always, it comes back to me. I can never blame my wife and say, well, I'm like this because you did this. That's what I did a lot of times. I say, I would say something like, you stressing me out. No, she ain't stressing me out. She ain't got, the, that's me stressed out. So I gotta take full responsibility for what I got going on. I'm trying to blame her. Tell myself, you stressing me out. She ain't stressing me out. That ain't her. That was me. That was me. You know, me. Me, 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 me. So that that that's really uh important as newlyweds that you gotta take full responsibility and you gotta work on those areas where you're weak, uh, insecure. You have to. Because if not, what you're going to do is you're going to have the same mindset and you'll get the same results, okay? And while the other person is growing and maturing, you're almost in, um, you're in uh, neutral, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, they got the car and drive, they're going forward, and now your car is in neutral and you're like stuck. You never want to, I'm learning that marriage is, is supposed to evolve, mm -hmm. you know? It's not supposed to just stay stagnant. So I have to take full responsibility for me and I have to grow in areas where I need to grow and seek help. You know, I have reached out for help um, from mentors, from friends, from people um, that I, I know that I trust and I have uh, maybe one or two confidants that I can 
uh, basically share my heart with and uh you know they tell me the same thing the same thing only it has nothing to do with her but everything to do with you um no one can make me feel no way you know i have to not allow my feelings not allow my emotions to you know uh, project uh, on my wife if you will and that was really good what he just said because I wanna, I wanna piggyback on it, but it's another tip I've learned is uh, you gotta be willing to compromise and grow for your spouse. Like when I say compromise, you're not always gonna be the person making all the decisions all the time. And you have to be aware that you're with somebody else. So take into consideration what they like to do, what they like to eat, where they like to go. Stuff like that, you gotta be able to compromise in a relationship. If you cannot compromise, you're probably not gonna get too far <laughs> in your relationship because you just go be about your own self. And what I've learned from marriage is marriage is really selfless, but you learn a lot about yourself. Like, so it's easy, like what my husband say, to point out things in your partner and stuff, but what I'm learning from marriage is like, nah, them darts are facing you, sis. Like, you gotta get some stuff together. And so that goes into my next point. Yes, compromise is important in your relationship, but you also gotta be willing to grow up for your relationship. And so there are some areas that I have to grow up in. Like, my husband has matured in areas that I have not yet matured in. And it would be stupid of me, I'ma just go ahead and say stupid, if I decide to stay stagnant and it's kind of hitting on what he just said like taking responsibility so I have a responsibility to grow up for this relationship because this is what we both prayed for absolutely like we yeah. both prayed to get married absolutely. to somebody not just anybody yeah but not anybody the right person yes Lord. so yeah so what else you gotta say, boo? Uh, no, that's that's pretty much it. I'm just so grateful um, that we are in a position where we can um, basically just pour out our hearts uh, on what's working for us mm -hmm. and what we're learning in this process. Yeah. Um, and what I will say with my closing words, my last remarks, is trust the process. Mm -hmm. um, my dad used to say something, he's deceased now, I've been deceased for probably 10 years, but he used to tell me something, I didn't understand it then, but I do understand it now. He used to say, Rome was not built in a day, okay? Yep. And, uh, uh, you know, now, you know, if I can break that down for you, it takes time to get to know your spouse. It takes time to learn how to serve your spouse. It takes time to learn how to become intimate with your spouse. Mm -hmm. It takes time to learn how to partner with your spouse, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in self-development, whether it's in health, whether it's in finance, it takes time. It's not an overnight process. Mm -hmm. I, am, I am used to stuff going fast. I mean, I'm like Nike, just do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning that <laughs> marriage is not like that. My wife is the opposite of me. I'm fast. My wife is not slow, but she uh, is uh, very, what's the word, babe? I take a little more time. Yeah, my <laughs> wife is very kind of, she's not rushing for nothing. I mean, mm -hmm. she's being anxious for nothing. That's actually good. And it's teaching me like, okay, I don't really have to be in a rush. Um, so yeah, just trust the process and never use the D word, you know, people have been telling me all that, but never use the D word, you know, and I'm not talking about the curse word, I'm talking about the D word. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even use that word. We don't ever use that word. Yeah, we, we ain't going to never use, use that, that word. word. So I have a few more little points, um, that I want to hit on. Number, one of the points is that counseling does help. Um, in a marriage and helping kind of like strengthen our relationship um, so that's one thing um, that I will say if you want to strengthen your relationship counseling never not helps um, also I would say um, make sure that you kind of sure of the person that you marry because um, what I'm saying is you're gonna learn a lot more about your partner after you get married but you should know a lot of stuff before you get married and if you marry the right person then it makes all the difference in the world after you 
get married because you're gonna go through certain things in your marriage and me and him have been going through stuff since we got married um we've gone through family emergencies we've gone through our own like emergency that recently happened to us um and he has been the way that he cares for his family member that had the emergency and the way that he cared for me for the emergency that I had, it made me fall in love with him even more. And just the, his personality, just who he is as a person, I can rest assured that I married the one that God, you know, had for me. Um, and I'm so thankful and blessed because of that. Um, he is there when I need him. Um, and we are working out certain things and it's just been a blessing. I can truly say that I'm thankful to be his wife. Like, and likewise, yeah, I'm thankful to be her husband because I believe <coughs> that, you know, he that finds a wife find a, a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then not only a good thing, but finds favor from the Lord. So I must say that my favor is overflowing right now. But more than that, then I found a good thing. I found a help mate. I mean, my wife helps me in my business. She helps me in my health, in my finances, in my self-development. I mean, I can't think of one area in my life um, where my wife does not help me. She helps me earn my clothes. She helps me fold my clothes, you know. Um, she helps me just clean up around the house. We have a pretty decent sized house. and takes a little bit to keep clean so mm -hmm. she helps me clean she'll say i'll do upstairs you do downstairs and mm -hmm. sometimes she'll take longer than me sometimes she's done before <laughs> me but no usually she takes longer than me because i move kind of fast but yeah. i mean she does it she she's not in a rush for nothing which is great you know um wow that's a beautiful thing yep and um one of the things that i kind of want to leave off with is that Make sure that you're incorporating God in the mix of your relationship. That always helps um, because God can take you in your relationship places that no other people will be able to ever take you. And that's just real. And one thing that or how we connected, the first way that we connected was on a spiritual level like we didn't when we first dated we didn't know that we were going to get married we knew we wanted to get married one day but we didn't know like this was going to be it until we continued to get to know each other and it was the spiritual connection that kind of drew us together absolutely i must agree with that 100 yeah. percent. it was the uh, spiritual connection and i believe like uh, before i got married i felt like the lord kind of gave me a word like um that the anointing on your life will kind of draw you to your wife and like i was able to kind of minister to my wife um, before we like start dating and mm -hmm. just really encourage her in the lord and i i did i wasn't even thinking like oh this could be my wife oh you want to be my girl oh i want to date you with the intent to be married like it was nothing like that it was all about the lord it was all about her heart her soul just wanted to see her in good health and prosper. Um, so that was really, really uh, a good point right there, baby. Yeah, so we connected on that way and I say keep that in your marriage because when you're going through hard times or when you, one person is dealing with something, you can be the person that upholds them spiritually and when you're going through something your partner can be the one that upholds you spiritually and then y'all are both still covered under the grace of god who is our father and so i just wanted to point that out i don't know if y'all are religious i don't know if y'all believe in the lord but we're both christians and i just wanted to put that out there like keep god in the mix of your relationship pray over your marriage i pray over our marriage you know i pray over the situations that we deal with and um i just wanted to keep this you know lighthearted. i wanted to keep it you know practical functional things that people can use for real and we just wanted to you know do this video hope it blesses a lot of people um and 
will be well i'll be able to share since this is my channel i'll be able to share more about certain things that have gone on but i want to hold off on certain things right now but um i would just say that i'm thankful that you helped me do this video mm -hmm. it's an honor <laughs> what an honor yes um we've gone through like a little tough time not like in our marriage but with certain things that have happened around us but um we're just believing and have faith that those things those situations will turn around for our good Amen. and one day i'll be able to tell a testimony yes, yes. so uh, that's for another day so i just want to tell y'all thank y'all for tuning in to this video um we just want to say that we're blessed to do this video this was really fun um it felt really natural to do it with um, my babe so i'm thankful um if you have not already done so go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to put some information in the comment section if anything that we said resonated with you or if you have any other advice that you would give to another couple things that you've learned since being married and that's all that we have for you i'll see you next time bye Peace.